uh, you'll hear things about people don't want to be in the friend zone. Oh, he put me in the friend zone. She, she was, she put him in the friend zone. And that's supposed to be a negative thing. So we're trying to swipe left or swipe right and disqualify this person. Because successful relationships are built on friendship. Happily married couples or happily married type couples say that the friendship is the most important quality and why their relationship is successful. That was the biggest thing I took away from your book, Tantric Dating. When we started, when we got together, I got your book and read it. And it just taught me that, you know, like you say, um, especially in, say, the progressive or conscious community, we pride ourselves on not being prejudiced. You know, people of different races and colors and ethnicities, religious views and so forth. But then when we get into personal situations, like uh, when we're dating, we become super prejudiced. All of a sudden, everything visual about that person, every flaw they have is up for grabs. We're trying to swipe left or swipe right and disqualify this person. And I realize that in my personal life, I'm doing that sometimes. So, you know, when I meet a person, I'm not trying to find what's good about them. Well, I shouldn't say I met because that's what I do now. At the time, I realized there were times where I'm just trying to get past this person or just trying to get this conversation over with. Instead of enjoying the interaction that I'm having with this mm. other most uh, most likely fascinating human being mm. who's got a story far different from my own that I'd like to hear about. Yeah. This is another thing where the tantric worldview is very different from the conventional worldview. Because in the conventional worldview, uh, to be friends with someone is very different than being is the opposite end of being romantically or sexually involved with them. So uh, you'll hear things about people don't want to be in the friend zone. Oh, he put me in the friend zone. She, she was, she put him in the friend zone. And that's supposed to be a negative thing. And when I lived in the Tantra ashram, uh, my spiritual teacher Osho says that friendship is higher than love. And um, so we would be there and men and women, women and women, men and men would become friends first and then see if a sexual friendship was possible. What's the statistic from John Gottman? John Gottman says, who again is the big guru on relationships, he said that uh, 70% of happily married couples or happily married type couples say that the friendship is the most important quality and why their relationship is successful. And that does not fit in any respect from what, how we go into the swiping dating culture. We're not looking for friends. We're looking for someone who looks like a fashion model or looks like a movie star. That's the swipe left or right criteria. Not, could I be friends with this person? Because that's the friend zone and that's negative. So we're actually looking for something that's not going to work for a uh, relationship. And people don't realize this. I didn't realize it until I started putting it all together and wrote my book. And then I was shocked because... Um, uh, we think that those things are antithetical, that they don't go together. And in fact, Greg and I are BFFs and you would like to have our sex life. It's fantastic. So <laughs> it's possible to be great friends and lovers and to have what I call a sexual friendship. And that you enjoying is this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one, just press it little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. And that is a, um, I'd like to introduce that concept of having a sexual, fr you're looking for your best friend who you also have a sexual friendship with versus uh, mm -hmm. um, these kind of romantic relationships where you um, are, it's a very um, dramatic and uh, hurts a lot and is uh, considered romantic, but it's not there's no basis of friendship in it. In fact, John Gottman in his relationship theory, uh, when couples are in trouble, when they come in for counseling because they're in trouble, the first thing they work on is trying to help build or repair the, re the friendship because successful relationships are built on friendship. So you see we go out as single people not looking for friendship when friendship is the thing that will build that successful relationship. So Greg and I have worked on building our friendship and we, this is another thing we teach is build that friendship. Yes, we have a, a great attraction and that's very valuable to us, but day to day, um, we are enjoying that and we're also enjoying our great friendship. And that is the part that you can really work on because friendship can, it's 
It's not the opposite of intimacy in the slightest. I know some people teach that, but that is not our experience. No, not at all. It takes a great deal of comfort to be so, uh, a great deal of work to be so comfortable with someone that you are their best friend and you are with them in the most, in your most vulnerable moments and very comfortable doing so. And, you know, we both have outside interests and friends, but there are some relationships where people have to go outside the relationship for any friendship at all. You know, it's almost like going outside the relationship for sex. You know, how can you be together with someone living in the same place and not be the best of friends? Yeah. Well, I never was before. So I really see that it's the, it is one of the um, deep keys of a relationship that is what we all dream of. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.